Hey guys, hello and welcome to Zen Innovations and the topic of today's video is uh, Tata Safari and its key fob. Now it is common to see uh, complaints regarding this uh, key fob because sometimes the key fob is not detected. Sometimes you have an error like this. You can see this uh, red blinking symbol and sometimes the car does not start with the key. So we are going to talk about all of those uh, points in this today's video and guys make sure to watch this video entirely without skipping because i'm going to give you an important tip using which at least you can start your car in an emergency if the key fob is absolutely not being detected and by starting the car you can at least come home so here is how the key fob looks and the sample i have today is a tata safari with a 2.2 liter engine and mine is with the 4x4 version so you can see the 4x4 selector switch over here and the guide which we are going to talk about today is going to be applicable for all kinds of Tata Safari models where the key fob looks like this. So yeah mine is uh, laminated your key might not be laminated but this is how the key looks so if your key is looking like this then the guide is applicable to you. Now there are variety of complaints with respect to this uh, key fob because the way it is designed and the way it is integrated with the car's immobilizer or the security system and sometimes uh, when someone buys a safari say a first time user then people often often get uh, confused that sir my car is not starting and usually what happens is this so let's take a demonstration say that we are now sitting inside the car i have the key fob and now i insert it into its place like this so where is it i hope you can see this guy so let me focus a little bit on this yeah so there is the keyhole and by inserting this key and i'm here turning on the key and here you can see the most confusing parameter is that there are absolutely no lights on this instrument console so naturally if there are no lights on this uh, dashboard then the car is not going to start so it does not matter if you try to do this the car is not going to start all right so let's talk about the first solution guys now tata safari comes with an uh, immobilizer chip inbuilt so the chip is built into the key as well as the, there's an immobilizer ecu which is located below the driver seat and both of these things communicate with each other now if you are using the key normally say if you unlock the car and then you uh, sit inside then you close the door and when you use it usually it works but say if you went uh, back to your house to retrieve some luggage or if you are you know arranging stuff in your car and if this if this particular key moves out say 10 feet away from the immobilizer chip uh, roughly 10 feet or 15 feet away then again their communication breaks and this uh, car enters into lockdown mode so this is the lockdown mode and here you can see that this uh, immobilizer light is flashing and hence the instrument cluster or any other features of this car is not going to work now to unlock this uh, particular immobilizer the process is very simple so what we have to do is we have to press this unlock button so let me focus yeah so this is the unlock button the one with the open padlock so let's press it like so and here we can see guys something happened so the indicators of the car flashed uh, sometimes the locks will reset and now let's try inserting the key and then uh, we'll try to start the car and let's see what happens all right so here goes the key uh, let's see from here right so here i have inserted the key let's turn it on and here as you can see guys the instrument cluster has started working so this is the particular confusing part and i don't know why tata has implemented it like so and a new user is uh, often left puzzling that sir what's wrong with my safari why does not it work why doesn't the key automatically get detected when it comes in the range so this is the little trick which we have to keep in the mind and usually at this point guys any good vehicle will simply start up so let's engage the handbrake let's put the car in neutral right and at this point usually 99 percent of the time the car will start but here that is not happening right so that is not happening so at this point what we can do is we can try a few things we can remove the key you can get outside the car you can lock it then you can unlock it 
then you insert the key again and then you try again and most of the times that will also work so just like you uh, restart your old windows 95 or windows 98 machine you just restart your car and then this thing gets uh, paired with the immobilizer circuit and then it starts working but sometimes safari acts very stubborn and it simply does not want to start so let's talk about the emergency measure so here i'm going to insert the key into this hole yeah i'm going to turn it on right so the dashboard and the instrument cluster is on but still the car refuses to start let's try it no not happening guys usually what happens is that if this is happening with your car then the battery which is inside this uh, key fob sometimes it gets weak and hence it emits a very weak signal and you think that oh uh, the instrument cluster is working fine the door locks on my car are working fine but still there is this second layer of security where it will not allow the car to start so what i'm going to do guys is that i'm going to push a dedicated video regarding how to change the battery on this particular key fob but before doing that guys we need to reach home right so let's emergency start this car and i'll show you the process how you can start it and you can reach your destination so for that we are going to key the we are going to put the key like so in the on position so this is the absolutely on position the lights on the dashboard should be on just like we discussed before and just ensure that your car is in neutral and make sure that the handbrake is engaged all the way up right I'll also suggest that you roll down a window or two because these locks are very finicky and sometimes the car will automatically lock itself and then you have a, a running car <laughs> and you are standing outside of it and the car is simply idling or running away. So we don't want to so we don't want that to happen. So I'm going to roll down a window using this key like so. And here uh, in the next part of this trick what we need to do is we need to uh, get up there and we need to pop open the hood so to open the hood we have this uh, latch over here so let me show it to you so this is the latch which i was talking about and we need to pull on it and unlock the hood like so done all right so with the hood unlocked and with the window rolled down uh, let's go to the frontal part of this car and let's discuss the emergency start procedure plus guys we are going to need this kind of wire so i already have this uh, thick little 4 square mm wire and guys absolutely make sure that you have little bits and pieces of wires in your car because that is going to help you start the car or you know fix things when we really need it so let's go there and let's start the car using this little trick which i'm going to show you all right guys so we are in the frontal location of the car and over here towards the right hand side we can see the battery which is located over here and by the way i have placed the wire here and this is my trickle charger which helps charge the battery and keep it floating during lockdowns and so on so if you want a guide on this then let me know in comments below this is the wire and where to apply this wire i'm going to tell you so just above the battery we can see that there, there are two fuse boxes so one is this large fuse box but we need to focus on the smaller fuse box over here and i have already opened it and the relay which we need to take a look at is this starter relay so the relay looks like this we currently don't need it it was over here in this location and i have removed it so let's uh, place this relay safely here where it won't fall down and this is the cover we don't need the cover so i'll place it over here and this is the small fuse box where we are going to pay attention and here you can see that there are a lot of pins and the pins which we are going to focus is on the extreme back side and on the extreme front side so extreme back side means absolutely towards the vehicle like so pointing towards the cabin and we have this terminal over here this pointing towards the absolute front of the vehicle or you can say towards the battery so these are the two pins where we need to focus the attention and here comes this uh, little nifty little wire so i'm going to try doing this with uh, one hand on camera so let's see how it goes so this is one end here on the absolute top part this one right this is the top part and here we'll take the second end and we'll touch it over here right all 
right guys so with that little trick the car is now back to life and it is absolutely roaring and it's ready to take you to your destination and that is how you start uh, Tata Safari if the key is not working and if you are interested in a variety of different guides related to cars or automotives then make sure to check out this particular playlist which is known as the automotive DIY you can find it in the description below or you can find it over here in the i button below so that was it for this uh, neat little video guys I hope you enjoyed it and I hope this is going to be very useful to you someday hit a like take care and have a nice day guys